Hi guys, um, I'm going to make a very short video um, about about the use of open office. I, I realize that many of you do not have um, Microsoft Office installed on your devices. So I've advised some of you to install open office, which is um, an open source software. That means it's free to install. Um, Open Office has got many of the features that you require uh, to complete the remaining the remainder of component two. And that includes the creation the creation of a dashboard. But there is a slight problem when creating a dashboard, but we see if we can get around it. So we just start by looking at how to import the data file into OpenOffice. So this is the file we're going to import on the screen now. So let me close this file and then what we do is we just open um Open Office. And let me bring it up. We need to close it and then do again. And then we have. So this is the Open Office I've got. Open here, Open Office car. So what we do with Open Office is we just go to File and then Open. So at this point, you just locate where you have in, you have saved the data file that I showed you earlier. In my case, I've saved this somewhere, and I've called it emails, and I've clicked on it. And when I click on it, you be presented with this dialog box here. This is asking you to tick one of these boxes. It's asking you which character has been used to separate the data items. Yeah, and when we looked at it, we found that the character was semicolon. So make sure you tick the right character. So after the, after the semicolon, you make sure all the rest uh, and ticked. Then you go to OK. What's happening here? I should get it. That's it. Yeah. Now, the data file I showed you earlier, earlier has not been imported into OpenOffice. The data has now been processed. It's now become information. So this is how we import data file, text file into a spreadsheet, open office card. So now how to create a dashboard in this how to create a dashboard from this information here. When I showed you earlier, I showed that, that dashboard area. Let me remind you again what a dashboard looks like.
So this is the dashboard I created in Microsoft Excel. As you can see, we got these patterns here. This is what we call slices. We use um, the slices um, allow us to filter. It, it does give us a, a visual tool to filter the table. Yeah, to filter the data table. But in Open Office, Open Office doesn't give us this feature, the feature to create the slices. Yeah, so we can only go up to creating the charts, and then we use the pivot, the table, to filter the whole table. Open Office will not hasn't got this feature here. Yeah, so. I think we can do without that. So for those who do not have Microsoft Office installed on your devices, you will not be able to create these slices here, which allows you to filter the, 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 the data, data yeah, in the table. So let's look how we going to create our pivot shop in the open office. We go back to open, we just have to open the open office for Open the open office file. Let me go back to open now. Yes, I've got the file open. This is the data I imported earlier. So to move on from here, we need to create the pivot table. So what we do, we go to data and then pivot table. We create pivot table. Here it's asking you, do you want the, the open file here? You say yes. And here at this point, we have all the fields here. So you need to decide which of these fields do you want to use to create your pivot table? Usually, you need to choose two of these fields. So let's say you want to find out the first name of each person and the points gain. That's what you need. Yeah. So you go here, you look at the first name, you drag it to the rule field and then points gain you drag it to the column field so this big box here the data field you need to decide what you want to do with the points scale uh, so when you drag this one here it will show you that you want it to be sum or count. If you want to know the point gain of someone, because it's a, a quantitative the data, it's a good idea to choose sum. So if you choose sum, so if the person gain points at different points in time so all the points gain will be added together yeah for example 
let, let me click on this one first, or actually some first. And then, if you look at the table here, I've got there's one here, that's uh, Jamie Smith here. And I've also got Jamie Smith here. Yeah, I've got Jamie Smith in the table twice. Because I selected some, it will add both points together. But if I had selected count, then it will have just added, well, just say one here and one here, and I will say two. Yeah, because it's counting the number of points, the number of places points were gained. Yeah, but we actually want the number of points that has been gained by Jamie Smith. So you take some, sorry, we'll add them together. There's another one here, Mary Jenkins. We've also got Mary Jenkins here. So in this case, Mary Jenkins points will be added together. Okay, so usually when the data is quantitative data. Points gain is quantitative data, so you want it to be added together. Okay. When the data is qualitative, then usually you 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 count it. So now we selected a sum of point gain. Then you go here on the right bottom corner here it says more you click on the arrow and then it's here it says undefined you must take new sheet if you do not take the new sheet nothing will happen yeah nothing will happen so you must take the new sheet here then you go to okay so now we have our pivot table here so as you can see in this pivot table we can use these arrows here to make our uh, filters here. This, this arrows will allow us to filter through the table. Yeah. So we can use this table to create our charts. And so we select the table, everything, we select everything. Let me go to charts. Then we can choose which of the chart we want. Yeah, it's a, we can choose a column chart, bar chart, or whatever chart we want. So, well, I've selected the bar chart. So it doesn't matter. What, it depends on which chart you want. The okay, next. Um. So you can, okay, they go to fi finish. So we have our table there and our chart here. Yeah. So if we filter through the chart, let's say we deselect everything, we select all this and just leave this there and click okay. So this will reflect the data in the table will reflect in the chart. Yeah. So we are not able to create slices in Open Office. Open Office hasn't got the feature to create slide slices. So all that we can do with Open Office is to create the pivot chart, the the pivot. T table and the chart. Okay. Uh, but apart from this, Open Office can be used to do a lot of work, a lot of the remaining work yeah, in this um, in this component too. Yeah, we are gonna be using formulas and functions. Yeah, a lot of formulas and functions. What can be which we can use the open office to perform um, those tasks? Yeah.
So that's it, guys. So we stop here and then um, make sure you hand in your last homework by the next lesson, which I think will be on the 1st of June, Monday, 1st of June. That's our next lesson. Okay, take care, guys.